I'll tell you, this offense is just scorching hot. Welcome to Philly Sands of Media. Jerry Kaplan tonight's game is in the Phillies and the Washington Nationals as the Phillies defeat the Nationals by a final score of 11 to 5. As we now take the first three games of this four game series against the Nationals, as we look for a series sweep tomorrow at 135. Now, guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get it. Uh, so we uh, have a little six-run uh, bottom of the first inning off of Patrick Corbin. I mean, what in the world happened to this guy, right? An all-star in 2013. Uh, I mean, this guy was amazing in 2018, final year with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, and uh, he was great his first year with the Nationals in 2019. Uh, and, you know, a huge part of the reason why they won a World Series that year. And he has just been awful since 2020. Uh, he, it's getting worse by the day. Uh, you know, he's, he's just slowly but surely regressed. Uh, I mean, what a what a this a fall from grace, uh, you know, from this guy. My goodness gracious, this guy has just been horrendous. One of the worst pitchers in all baseball. Uh, so because he's scoring somewhere right here in the bottom of the first inning, Reese Hoskins homers on a fly ball, two left center field. Now three nights in a row he has gone deep. Three nights in a row. Uh, so let's make it four games in a row uh, tomorrow uh, afternoon. Uh, Hoskins twenty third home run of the season. One nothing Philadelphia. So we didn't waste any time, right? We didn't waste any time. That is for sure. Let me pick it up here in the same inning. Matt Vier. Homer Sunday fly ball to left field. A three run shot also scores Bowman Castellanos. Uh, Vierling's fourth of the season, 4 0 Philadelphia. Uh, so when Matt Vierling gets to start out in center tonight, uh, since it was a righty lefty matchup, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, you know, as I did talk about in the trade deadline uh, you know, review, I said, Raina Marsh, uh, he's going to be the guy uh, that's going to platoon with Matt Vierling like, with the righty. I, I do believe he'll see most of the time, but. Uh, I think that you know, it's kind of always going to be like how Joe Barrera is. Of course, uh, Brandon Marsh definitely a uh, significant upgrade over Joe Barrera. That feeling, I, I love what he does at the play. I mean, definitely a, a much better hitter as, as we've seen in his big league career uh, than Brandon Marsh has been. Uh, so you can't deny that. And Matt Feeling, don't underestimate this guy's defense. He, he plays very good defense. Uh, so I don't don't sleep on Matt Feeling. Let me pick it up here in the same inning. Bryson stopped with his first career triple. Uh, Zeke Jones on a short line drive to center field. Gene Segura and uh, Emmanuel Sosa come around to score. As it's now 6 0 Philly. So, so he put up a six spot uh, against Patrick Corbin in the bottom of the first inning. Uh, so, what a way to pounce over this guy. Uh, so, he just was throwing BBs, man. I mean, this right down the middle plate. A lot of uh, solid contact, as I alluded to before. Uh, so, I mean, uh, this, wow. I mean, uh, this was just an incredible to witness. Uh, he already won the first two games of the series in pretty comfortable fashion. He got the abbreviated win the first game. He felt pretty good about the victory last night, of course. Uh, and uh, you're already out to a 6 nothing lead here just in the bottom of the first inning. Up here in the bottom of the second inning, another triple. Uh, and it was by a catcher. Uh, it was by our, our very fast catcher. Was he fast for a catcher? He's just fast, period. I mean, uh, he's actually a pretty fast guy. As we talked about before, a very athletic guy. Uh, as JT Muto triples on a fly ball to right field, uh, Al Bohm comes around to score uh, as the Phillies now lead it 7 to nothing. Uh, so Lane Thomas doing whatever he could to try to get to that one. Of course, he hit off of the wall. I mean, JT Muto, four triples now in the year. Think about a catcher with four triples uh, in a year. Think about that. Only August the 6th. Uh, and he already has four triples this year. I mean, that's just insane. Jordan Weems is on the mound at that point for Washington uh, since Patrick Corbin couldn't even get out of the first inning. Uh, so, so how about that? J.T. Muto, of course, he would uh, you know do something else later in the ball. You'll be talking about that a little bit later. Now picking up here in the same inning. Nick Castellano, stay hot. Uh, another RBI as he singles on the line drive the other way to right field. J.T. Real Muto comes around to score easily from third. Uh, as is now 8 nothing Phillies. 8 nothing Phillies. Uh, so we've talked about how good Nick Castellanos has been, you know, over the past two to three weeks. Uh, you know, nearly batting around 290 the last month. I mean, just in the OPS over the last month still hasn't been great, but it's been definitely getting higher over the past two to three weeks. I'm, I'm going to look more at what Nick Castellanos has done over the last two to three weeks. I think that's, I think that's, you know, a little bit more significant. Uh, so how about that? Eight nothing Philadelphia. You know, pick it up here in the team meeting. Amono Sosa doubles on the line trying to left field. Nick Castellanos. Comes around to score. Uh, and so says uh, fifth double of the season. Uh, of course, he was acquired uh, from the uh, St. Louis Cardinals in the JoJo Romero trade. 
so uh, nine nothing Phils. Uh, so we now put up a nine spot against the Nationals uh, in just the bottom of the second inning. I see this, this ball game is over. I mean, it, it was over. I, I even thought it was over after the. Uh, the three on home run from Matt Vierling. Uh, but now it's like, it's just like the, like mercy, right? I mean, uncle, uh, the national fans are calling out uncle. Uh, you know, this was just, uh, wow, just pouncing all over this team. They were picking up here in the top of the sixth inning. Uh, he finally gets his first one with the Nationals. Didn't take him too long. As Luke Voigt homers on a fly ball to right center field. As that one had just enough. Uh, Voigt's 14th of the season. And it's 99-1 ball game. Uh, so uh, Luke Voigt, I mean, probably the face of the Nationals. Uh, so talking about last night, it's just so weird. It's just so weird uh, to see this guy like <laughs> be like the face of the Washington Nationals. I mean, uh, you know, just such a bad baseball team. Uh, I'm just sure he hates playing there. He saw he posted on his Instagram, so grateful for a new opportunity. He just does like, how would he be excited for playing for the for the Nationals? I mean, the National. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. How bad they are. What a what a fall from grace. And I don't know if Patrick Gordon, but the, for the, like the Washington Nationals. Uh, they, I mean, just think about it. I mean, how good they, you know, were in, you know, that 2019 season, you know, they won the World Series and where they are right now. Uh, you know, definitely this is, you know, strange sequence of events, as I've mentioned before. Baseball, in a lot of ways, is definitely a strange game. They pick it up here uh, in the same inning. Trace Brewer doubles on a short line drive to left field. Joey Menez and Lane Thomas come around to score. Uh, and uh, that was Trace Brewer's first double of the season as the Nationals uh, got a little bit closer to 99 to 3 ball game. Uh, so I have to say, Rangers were has definitely started to fall apart there. And then, and of course, that was off of Nick Nelson. Uh, but it seems like the third turn through the order, Rangers were does kind of seem to lose a little bit, uh, as we've seen before. Uh, and uh, that's usually only why he goes, you know, five, six innings. He doesn't really go very deep, and that's that's a lot of the reason why. Pick it up here in the same inning, Victor Robles. It's a sharp ground ball to short. It goes into the hole. Unfortunately, Bryson Stott uh, fires the second. The throw was not in time as Chase Barrera came around to score on that one. As the Nationals now get even closer, 9-4 nine, nine ball game. So I'll be honest, I was like, not worried, but I was a little annoyed. Like, it just could have been a laugher, and now you allowed him to come all the way back in the ball game. Like, this wasn't a 9-6 to six ball game. Now, it wasn't even a 9-7 to seven ball game, but... Uh, still, it's not really a laugher anymore. Uh, so they put up a four spot, you know, pretty rare. You know, they don't really see it too much uh, in the top of the sixth inning. Uh, so the Nationals definitely had a, a good top of the sixth inning. Let me pick it up here in the bottom of the sixth inning. JT Real Muto. This man is just on another level right now. He does it again. Is he over Sunday? Five ball to center field. A two run shot. Six scores out. Boom. His 12th of the season. Uh, so I think the BCIB talks are certainly starting to come back. I mean, almost an 800 BS now at 780. Uh, I think about how much it's just been keep climbing and climbing and climbing. We've been watching it, uh, and it's now 11 to 4 Phillies. Uh, so, JT, I mean, uh, JT, the man, the man, the man. Uh, so, uh, you know, keep up the good work, my friend. This guy is hitting the baseball all fields. He's hitting with power. Uh, so, and it, you know, definitely the BCIB form right now, no question. We pick it up here in the top of the seventh inning. Lane Thomas hits the second place, find the center field. Nelson Cruz comes around to score. It's now an 11 to 5 volume. So, the Nationals get one back. Uh, but uh, that would be your final 11 to 5 Philadelphia uh, as we take three out of four against the Nationals. Uh, Kyle Shore in the spot. Uh, he was performance uh, when he was able to draw a walk. Uh, he's still been pretty sluggish over the last month, though, man. He hasn't really been doing a whole lot. Uh, an 8 3 OPS. Uh, so he's going to go take a look. I mean, he's hitting uh, 164 in the last 30 games. Uh, and uh, his OPS is only, you know, just above 600. Uh, so, you know, certainly dipping, no question about that. Uh, and uh, Reese Hoskins, only hit was a big one. Uh, the solo home run in the first inning. Uh, so 23 home runs down for Reese. Definitely, you know, most likely going to get 30 on the year. Uh, an 830 OPS for uh, Reese Hoskins. Out boom. Uh, one knock tonight. Also drawing two walks. I mean, he's walking. He's slugging. Uh, he's doing things that he hasn't been doing in his career. Uh, 748 OPS for Alec Bone to go along with a 296 average. Uh, and he also scores three runs tonight. Uh, you think about that, Alec scores three runs tonight as well. JT Muto, uh, two knocks tonight, the triple and the two run home run. Uh, so uh, the BCIB talks are back, baby. Uh, they are back. A 265 average, a 780 OPS, as I talked about before. So it just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. Almost at 800 now. Uh, and Nick Castellano. Uh, two knocks tonight, uh, scoring two runs, uh, yeah, 259 average now, almost at 260 in a uh, 687 OPS. Uh, so in Nick Castellanos, over the last 30 games, uh, hitting around 290 at 286, I mean the OPS is just around, you know, almost near 700, uh, so that's certainly not, you know, great, but 
uh, you know, go take a look at what he's done in the last, you know, 15 games. So over two weeks now, uh, an OPS right around 800. Uh, so you know, this guy certainly is starting to play like Nick Castellanos. Uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully he can keep this up. Uh, and uh, Matt Fierling, the only one, it was a big one, the three-run home run in the bottom of first inning off of Patrick Corbin to make it a 4 uh, nothing ball game. Uh, so, uh, I mean, that was just awesome, right? I mean, I think that that, as I talked about before, uh, kind of seemed to set a tone, right? I mean, I, I kind of felt like the ball game was over after that point. I mean, you're just playing such a bad Nationals team. Uh, and to put up a four spot there in the, you know, of course we later put up a six spot, but uh, when you're up four and nothing like that, I'm like, I, I think we got it. I, I, I really do think we got it. Uh, and uh, Gene Segura, he needed this one, a three hit night tonight to get a challenge now up to 277. We saw it dip below 270 last night. Uh, so hopefully this is you know, kind of the start of it for Gene Segura. You know, like, you know, like, it could sometimes take a while for a guy to come back. Anyway, he's been out for over two months, uh, you know, just, you know, almost. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's not just going to be like a flip the switch. He comes back and like, wow, he's, you know, he's back. Uh, that's not how it works. Uh, that's not how it works at all. And, uh, Nick Maytown, of course, back up at the big league level, uh, as, uh, Yanni Munoz was absent the triple A. I mean, that's the right move. I mean, I, I definitely would, you know, much rather have Nick Maytown. And Mario Sosa with the RBI double, his fifth of the season to score Castellanos, as that was his only, uh, hit of the night. And Bryson Stott, he did it. Uh, he is now at the Mendoza line at 200, two knocks tonight. Uh, and of course, you know, you got the uh, RBI, the two RBI triple, uh, his uh, first career triple. So congratulations to Bryson Stott, and he's now hitting 200 on the year. And uh, Rangers Suarez, five and three, with seven hits, three runs all, three were earned, two walks, and five strikeouts. A three six eight year eight gets the win now, eight five in the year. He kind of just fell apart there in that sixth inning. I mean, he he did. He really really did. I mean, other than that, he's you know pretty good. Uh, he was pretty good. Of course, he allowed that home run to Luke Voigt there in that sixth inning. But, uh, you know, pretty much, I mean, he was cruising. He was cruising for the first five. Uh, he really was. I mean, he's going against such a bad team. So uh, he needs to figure that out, though. I, I'm kind of getting tired of him not really giving us a whole lot of length. Uh, Nick Nelson, two thirds innings, uh, two hits, one run, run was earned, one walk, and one strikeout. He was able to get us out of that, uh, that sixth inning. Uh, but, of course, you know, damage was done there a little bit. And Andrew Bellotti, uh, one inning, one hit, one run, and run was earned. He still had a pretty good night. He made a 3 4 7 ERA. Uh, still, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, very impressive out of him. And uh, Jose Alvarado, one inning, one hit, uh, and uh, one strikeout as well. Uh, so it's always going to help his ERA, right? I mean, to pitch a scoreless inning, a 4 8 8 ERA. Uh, and Corey Knabel uh, comes in there in the time of ninth inning uh, and allows two hits and walks one. It always has to be something interesting, even going against like, a team like a Dodge or it's a Nationals one team the other. Uh, it always has to be interesting, uh, but he was able to get the job done. I mean, that's just a miracle they didn't score right there. Uh, but I guess it really wouldn't matter. We were still up six runs at that point. Uh, so uh, that would be your final 11-5. to five. Sweep tomorrow. You have to sweep tomorrow. Uh, so I, I just love how JT has just been, like, so good. Like, I, this seems like I'm, like, watching 2019 JT. I, I just – I love how much – I love how much he is producing – uh, and uh, I love how much Nick Castellanos is starting to look like his old self. Uh, and uh, we need Kyle Schroeder to wake up. You know what? This lineup has depth. It really, really does. You see how much Alec Bowman stepped up in the, when, it, when Bryce Harper comes back. I can't see things getting any worse. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, so things are only going to get better. Uh, so unfortunately, the New York Mets do... <sighs> sweep out the Atlanta Braves today in a doubleheader. You know, I'm sure Slida and Sergeant Gimme are not too happy about that one. Uh, so, I mean, I, the Mets are the better team. I mean, they, they proved it. Uh, they, they really have proved it. I mean, you can't deny it. I mean, I'm not really happy about it. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'd much rather see the, you know, the Atlanta Braves, you know, take division rather than the New York Mets just because of, you know, the whole New York Philly, you know, rivalry, of course. Uh, but I don't like either team. I dislike the Braves uh, less than I do the New York Mets. Uh, so no question about that. Uh, and uh, then the Marlins lose as well. Uh, and of course, the Nationals on a uh, four-game losing streak. Uh, so the Nationals, uh, 35 and 73. Ouch! Uh, so we do have a one-game lead over the Milwaukee Brewers in uh, for that third wild card spot. The Phillies and Cardinals both have the same record as the Cardinals now are leading the NL Central. Uh, so we need we need this third wild card spot. I want playoffs. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe on the yet. Please turn the bell. Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Check out the social media link in the description section. At Phillies on social media, Instagram, Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at Beyond Still Media. Call or text 267-225-3292. Email it. Phillies on social media at gmail.com. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke and I'll talk to you later. Let's go Phillies. See you guys.